Here we go again, it's Adam and Tessa. In today's video, we're going to share with you guys some unique restaurants that we have visited in Kerfu, Greece. Stay tuned because the last restaurant has arguably the best view in all of Porto. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Next time I'll get it right But for now I'll stay right here where I belong If I Let's start with the first place that we ate was at our hotel. Pentis, Pentic, oh my God. Panticanisi. I, I have it here. Panticanisi. Whatever, I'm just gonna write it up here so you guys can read it and take your time because it's very hard to pronounce it. We have that restaurant was attached to the hotel and it was kind of really easy because sometimes we really didn't, didn't want to drive somewhere and eat. The view was amazing. Yeah, it had a great view and we got 15% off all food at the restaurant for just staying at the same hotel. Mm -hmm. So it was a great deal. But the view was even worth, even if you aren't staying there, you can still go to that hotel and enjoy a really great view. It also had like drinks because it was like kitchen slash bar. So, if you wanted to drink, it's there too. While we were there, we had some really great um, Greek coffee mm -hmm. and some really, really nice salad. What was called Freppo? Freppo? We have it right. Freddo Cappuccino. Freddo, yeah. That was that was my favorite. I, I had it, oh my God, so many times. Everywhere we went, I have to get coffee. It does not matter if it's like, in the morning, afternoon, or at night. Like, I have to get that. The price was very reasonable for uh, Greece in general, in Euros. Everywhere we ate was pretty similar to what we pay for restaurants in the Midwest. So mm. cheaper than, I would say, like big American cities. Um, so for us, it, it, it didn't seem like any kind of change yeah. or any kind of difference opposed to meals we would have out around the Midwest. And it was, it was really funny because we were very close to the airport of the island. So we would just eat and just see plane takes off and land at the airport. The service was on point. I mean, we, we just want the food right away. So we're kind of hungry sometimes and hey, we need to eat. And it's like, it was faster than the McDonald's. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm waiting for it to hurt more to stay the same When I get through this storm, I'll find it on my own And I'll mean it more than you'll ever know Next time I'm getting it But I don't sleep enough Why are you so hot? And I can't eat enough without you If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Look at those views! That you do. Which one's better, him or that? Oh, <laughs> we mentioned our friends, Giannis before in our videos, you can go back and see the videos that we talked about him. So Giannis was one of the friends that we met through couch surfing. He helped us a lot in Greece about like places where to visit, the beaches that we need to go to, and the, all the tips and tricks about her food. He invited us over to his family's restaurant, Antony's Grill, and there he gave us the full uh, Greek Everything. <laughs> Uh, spread anything that he thought we should try we got to have while we were there and also the food was so greeky like I felt like I'm in Greece especially because that's that's what happened when you meet locals it's just they give you everything let's jump into that and see what happened at that restaurant <laughs> Cool. Yeah, and it's, uh, the, you know the lotus there. I want something because in Thailand they have this. This is the, their, um, you know, traditional. Uh huh. Uh, like a signature. They have, like, five lines. Mm -hmm. Like normally they do it here. Mm -hmm. But I wanted something more, you know, personal. So I souvlaki, potopula bola. Eh, dio, kimus portugal ehi. 
No oranges. No oranges? No oranges. Let's do... Uh, yeah, what the logo? Mia Sprite. Okay. Let's start with Greek salad. So you want to explain? Yep, you, get, you go ahead and explain. I'm not from here. <laughs> Greek salad, feta cheese, and you know, normal olive oil and very Mediterranean. And then you have tzatziki, which is yogurt and garlic. Tzatziki. And then this is made from feta cheese. Uh huh. And then a little bit of pepper. It's kind of spicy, not a little spicy. I think you're gonna like it. Okay, you told me this is not spicy no, because no, I don't eat don't. spicy. It's, it's, <laughs> Just a little bit. I really spicy. You know, I, I was I was so right, scared enough, in, enough. in in Thai in it was in Thailand. Yeah, because every time I said no spicy, they said a little, little, and then you find out it's super, super spicy. So I will take your words. Yeah. This is not too exactly. spicy. We'll see. Let, let, let me try. Let, let me try. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Make sure maybe, before. Maybe they, they... A little bit more pepper, but I don't see it red. So okay, no, so we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the bread is uh, pita. pita. Is that pita bread? Pita bread? The, the one that you put also in the pita. Okay. That you made the pita, yeah. You also try because you okay. eat spicy all the time. Yeah. You make fun of me no, no, for not no. eating. How was it? It's not spicy. Okay, I trust you guys. I will try it then. Yep. And if you like, it's good. If you like yogurt, <laughs> no, it is good. <laughs> Does it taste different in Greece? It's so much better. <laughs> so it means pie. Uh huh. Uh, this one is with um, shuvlaki. The meat inside is called shuvlaki. You can eat it also. Shuvlaki. Only like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shuvlaki. But also you can put it in pita with. Uh, uh, tzatziki, french fries, and tomato. All right, we'll try it. What try. did you get? Sorry. What did you uh, get? I took the same, but with uh, shuglaki, pork, and mayonnaise, and uh, french fries, and french fries. tomato. All right, we'll wait for yours, Tessa. I'm just a little bit more important than you. Oh. That's why they got my dish okay. first. I'm enjoying everything else right now. <laughs> All right. Also, it's easier. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. That yeah, looks fire. I said fire again, Tessa. I'm sorry. <laughs> she does not like you this word when I said it. Yep, I didn't. Because I was in Egypt and I was speaking Arabic most of the time. <laughs> As you can see, we didn't like the food at all. <laughs> see? Yeah. There's sorry. nothing. So, so much, sorry. sorry. <laughs> that's, that's your restaurant, you know? <laughs> you recommended that. <laughs> It was so delicious. Are you? Are we done, Tessa? Are you still eating? <laughs> you want to clear it? <laughs> you can introduce yourself first. Hi, I'm local. <laughs> I'm, I, hi, I'm local. <laughs> introduce yourself so and then. My name is Yanis. Yanis. How how did I meet Yanis? I met him through Couchsurfing. Couchsurfing. Yeah. So Couchsurfing is an it's an application that you can meet local people that can show you around and also they can host you as well. So that part, let, let's jump into the second part, which is, can you tell us about Santorini and Mykonos? Because every time when I, when, you know, when people think about Greece and honeymoon and vacation, they always go for the most popular, famous yeah. cities. So, yeah. and islands. So, so um, Santorini actually is one of the most famous uh, destinations in the whole world, but uh, it's very expensive. And uh, Mykonos is it's not that famous, also famous. Mykonos is like the party island, mm -hmm. this is where you go to party. Both of them super crowded and super expensive. Yes. Uh, actually, they are not Greece. It's not like the, they are Greece, of course, mm -hmm. but they are not you know, like the, the normal island or the normal place where you go to Greece. All the normal prices. And, and that's why days. that's why we we pick Kerfu. Yeah. Because Kerfu, it's Kerfu. not it's like very calm and it also has beautiful beaches yeah. and a lot of stuff to do. It's not as expensive. It's, so it's kind of expensive. But, but it's not as but Mykonos and not, Santorini. Not, not even half like uh, <laughs> yep. like Mykonos and Santorini, yeah. Exactly. I think you made a good choice. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Thanks to myself. <laughs> <laughs> also, 
you don't have to be in Old Town Corfu or any of the bigger uh, towns and cities within mm -hmm. the island to enjoy a really good quality restaurant. There are mom and pop restaurants in every single small um, village town that you drive through. Um, we stopped at one just on our way to one of the um, beaches, beaches across the island and it was great. We had pizza and great coffee again and it was such good quality food. I don't think there's anywhere on the island that you could go and not get yeah. a great meal. Here it comes Greek coffee. It's the best coffee in you in Greece. I, I didn't <laughs> Coffee is the best coffee in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> oh and now to one of my favorite rooftop restaurants, Golden Fox. But since I met you, I didn't know it. That underneath it all, you started something. Recommendation made by Giannis. So again, another point for finding a local and find and having them point you in the right direction. Love you, Jonas. The Golden Fox had an amazing view. You could see the You know harbor. what? Tessa, you know what? Let them see it first. Took so many videos and pictures while we were there, and then I said, "Now let's just sit down and enjoy our meals." I got chicken salad. And I, I was had, trying to be I was trying to be a little healthy, but. <laughs> and I had pasta sada, which is a local Corfu um, pasta dish. So it's made from beef, and it was so good. Cannot pass a day without eating a nice ice cream. Actually, it's so good. It's so good. Well, that's it for the some fancy, nice local restaurants that we ate at Curfew, Greece. And there are so many other restaurants that we did not have time to explore. Let us know which of the three uh, would be your favorite in the comments below. Stay tuned until, until next video.